Translation. Mm. Do the trees not live? Do the bellows of the blacksmith not breathe? All around us, do the beasts not eat and discharge semen? Purport. The materialistic man of the modern age will argue that life, or part of it, is never meant for discussion of theosophical or theological arguments. Life is meant for the maximum duration of existence, for eating, drinking, sexual intercourse, making merry, and enjoying life. The modern man wants to live forever by the advancement of material science, and there are many foolish theories for prolonging life to the maximum duration. But the Srimad Bhagavatam affirms that life is not meant for so-called economic development or advancement of materialistic science for the hedonistic philosophy of eating, mating, drinking, and merrymaking. Life is solely meant for tapasya, for purifying existence, so that one may enter into eternal life just after the end of the human form of life. The materialists want to prolong life as much as possible because they have no information of the next life. Therefore, they want to get the maximum comforts of life only in this present life, thinking conclusively that there is no life after death. This ignorance about the eternity of the living being and the change of covering in the material world has played havoc in the structure of the modern human society. Consequently, there are many problems multiplied by various plans of modernized man. The plans for solving the problems of society have only aggravated the troubles. Even if it is possible to prolong life more than 100 years, advancement of human civilization does not necessarily follow. The Bhagavatam says that certain trees live for hundreds and thousands of years. At Vrindavan, there is a tamarind tree. The place is known as Imlatal, which is said to be existing since the time of Lord Krishna. In the Calcutta Botanical Garden, there is a banyan tree, said to be older than 500 years, and there are many such trees all over the world. Swami Shankaracharya lived only 32 years, and Lord Chaitanya lived 48 years. One may doubt that trees have life because they do not breathe, but modern scientists like Bose have already proved that there is life in plants, so breathing is no sign of actual life. The Bhagavatam says that the bellows of the blacksmith breathe very soundly, but that does not mean that the bellows has life. The materialist will argue that life in the tree and life in the man cannot be compared because the tree cannot enjoy life by eating palatable dishes or by enjoying sexual intercourse. In reply to this, the Bhagavatam asks whether other animals like the dogs and hogs living in the same village with human beings do not eat and enjoy sexual life. The specific utterance of Srimad Bhagavatam in this connection regarding other animals means that persons who are simply engaged in the matter of planning a better type of animal life consisting of eating Breathing and mating are also animals in the shape of human beings. A society of such polished animals cannot benefit suffering humanity, for an animal can easily harm another animal, but rarely do good. Uh, this is the situation. Uh, we have discussed in the previous bhas that we are uh, uh, decreasing the span of life. The scientist will say, uh, no, we are making arrangement so that by science we shall make man immortal. Vikattathe, uh, <coughs> when a man becomes mad, he speaks so many nonsense. Like a child, uh, a child also speaks so many nonsense things, and uh, the parents enjoy it. Similarly, the so-called scientist, when he says that by scientific method we shall uh, stop death. So there is no uh, evidence in the history of the human society uh, that a man has not died. That cannot be. Hiranna Koshipu, he was also atheist and materialist. He also tried to become immortal. And he made a plan, negative plan, 
to cheat Lord Brahma that I shall not die in this way, in this way, in that way, in this way, in that way. But still he was killed. Uh, Mrityu sarva harasta hum. Krishna says that I am death. Uh, and at the time of death I take away everything. Uh, sarva harasta. So we cannot cheat God or His law. That is not possible. We may be very intelligent to cheat here the police or the government or the law, but it is not possible to cheat the supreme laws. That is not possible. <coughs> Therefore, in order to avoid the superintendence of the Supreme Lord, because there is superintendence, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, you have read, Mayadhaksena Prakriti Syate Sacharacharam. Under my superintendence, the law of nature is working. So we are under the laws of nature. Uh, the nature is very vigilant, a strong agent of Krishna. Devijesa Gunamayi. Mama Maya Duratya. So we cannot avoid, even if we deny there is no God, there is no systematic government or stringent laws, just to avoid our responsibility. But that will not save us. Now the argument is. In the previous verse, it is said that we are decreasing our duration of life. The scientist will say, no, we shall stop it. Taking this argument, Bhagavad says, suppose you stop death. It, is, it cannot be. Suppose you increase the duration, span of life to a very extensive way. In reply to that, it is said that what is the use of living for so many years? If the life is not properly utilized, now the living for many, many years, no, the trees are also living, standing in one place, living for many years. In San Francisco we saw, they said that one tree, a red tree, very tall, very tall, stout and strong, and it said that this tree is standing there for seven thousands of years. So what is the benefit? Uh -huh. So we can argue uh, that uh, we cannot compare with sea and us, because we have got so many facilities. What facility? Uh, the facility, the tree is life, there is life admitting, but uh, it cannot breathe. Uh, the immediately the answer is vastra kingna sasantata. Vastra, below, you have seen big, big billows in blacksmith, so. Uh, that is also made of skin, just like our body is made of skin. That bellow is also made of skin, and it has got a big nose, and breathing is coming. Boss, God, God. So these are the uh, tangible examples. The, if you want to increase your life, oh, there are uh, many living entities, they are living. Wow. Many, many years more than you. What uh, excel? What is excellence in your part? And if you say that I am breathing, the tea cannot breathe. Oh, there is the bastra, the bellows. It can breathe better than you. Uh, then he says, no, they have no enjoyment of eating and mating. Uh, 
अरे भागवत रिप्लाय कि न खादंती न मे हंती किंग ग्रामी पसभो परे वेर वेर वी ली देर आर मेनी आर आर लोअर एनिमल्स जस्ट लाइक डॉग्स कैट्स हॉग्स एसेस एनिमल्स कैमेल्स अफकोर्स इन सिटी वी डू नॉट फाइंड दिस बट इन विलेजेस दीज आर डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स डॉग्स एसेस हॉर्स camel monkey and so many others therefore he says grame in your vicinity in your neighborhood there are many animals they have got the facility of eating and sexual intercourse so how do we excel them the modern civilization is such a foolish civilization that they think they are advanced in which way you are advanced the animals the trees they are far advanced than you in this matter so far bodily necessities are concerned you cannot compete with them you uh, you are flying so you can fly by aeroplane or the vulture can fly more than you it is a vulture and it flies uh, many miles above and it has got very sharp um, high sight uh, the vulture is so up the business is where there is a dead body that's all he is trying to find out where is a dead body is it it goes high but the business is to find out a dead body that's all Similarly, our this advancement of science, increasing the duration of life, uh, increasing the sex power, especially in these days, uh, as soon as there is uh, um, lack of sex power, there is divorce suit. Yes, but uh, you have seen the dogs and cats, cats. How much sex power they have got? Uh, So, uh, begetting children, the hog can beget children at least three dozen a year. What we can do in in three years? It is hardly we can produce one child, and the hog will produce in three years at least thirty-six children. So you cannot compete uh, simply by competing with these things. Animal life, that is not excellence of your life. Real excellence is that these animals, they cannot become Krishna conscious. That is the difference only. You can excel with all these lower animals, trees, birds, beasts, and other so many. Only by Uh, awakening your Krishna consciousness. That is the only business. Uh, and if you lack in that matter Krishna consciousness, then the other animals, lower animals, they are far, far advanced. They are far, far advanced. Uh, so, as human being, we should consider all these points. Uh, Bhagavat is pointing out. Uh, each and every step of her life, and helping us how to become Krishna conscious. Uh, when Narad Muni advised Vyasadeva uh, that uh, you have written so many books, but actually uh, they are not very much beneficial to the human society. You write such a book that they will come to Krishna consciousness. So this Simad Bhagavatam is especially written to bring these rascals and animals to come to Krishna consciousness. The so-called advanced civilization going to hell—they do not know 
अदांत को भी विशतांग तमिश्रम पुनः पुनः चर्वित चर्वनाना चिंग दिच्छु सो मेनी एडवर्टाइजमेंट ओनली फॉर ड्रिंकिंग एंड सेक्स वी गो व्हेन यू गो टू द बीच the two sides they advertise in full of drinking and sex that's all so animal civilization don't be proud of this rascal civilization there is no meaning of this civilization and big professor he said sami ji there is no life after death this is and he is a professor he is teacher Uh, this is the position. Uh, fools, rascals, they are leaders, professors, and scientists, and philosophers, and pushing us towards hell. That's all, uh, because they do not know what is the value of life. They do not know that there is life after death. Otherwise, why there are so many varieties of life? They concoct their own conclusion. They do not refer to the authorities. What is the actual position? They make, they manufacture their own way of life. It is very dangerous civilization. Oh. Because dangerous in this sense uh, that this life, human form of life, is especially meant for God realization. But uh, in that subject matter, they are blind. Uh, there is no education system. There is no university. Nothing of this sort. Simply animalistic way of life. How we can increase our eating uh, capacity, our sexual capacity, and uh, this, this is why. So Bhagavat is pointing out, my dear sir, uh, by these things you cannot uh, be very much proud. Uh, One more verse, yes. So, swa, swa means dog, and bid, bid baraha. There are two kinds of hogs. One is uh, that we see generally in towns and villages. Uh, that is baraha. Baraha means hogs. Uh, They eat uh, stool, birbaraha. Another, a jungle baraha. They have got a, a big, what is called, tusk. Yes, that is more dangerous. They live in the jungle, and birbaraha means they live in the village, finding out where is stool, where is stool, where is stool. Shabir baraha ushtra. Ushtra means camel, and khara means ass. So here it is a very terse remark that anyone who has never heard uh, the glories of Gadagaja, the supreme personality of Godhead, in other words, one who is uh, not Krishna conscious. Does not know anything about Krishna or God. They are no better than these animals, especially dog, hog, ass, camel. Why these four kinds of animals have been selected to compare? That is explained. Shaw. Hmm. Sure. Means dog. Hmm. A dog, however powerful it may be, very strong, stout, yeah. and it, unless it it has got a master, its life is very precarious. Hmm. Dog. Just see, our education at the present moment. Yeah. Very advanced education. Many Indian students come here also to take advanced education. 
But actually, if we consider this education creating dogs, why? Because have a technologist, you may be, if you don't get a suitable service, all your education is finished. Therefore, after education, you will have to write application, my dear sir, I am such and such qualified dog. <laughs> if you will kindly give me some service, and they tell it's like this. Just imagine, if by education he becomes independent, just like Vedic culture, the Brahmins, the Kshatriya, the Vaishyas, they are independent. The Shudras are compared with the dogs because they cannot live without a master. Huh? Brahmin, you will not accept anyone's service. That is real brand. A chhatriya will never accept anyone's service. Huh? Now why the battle of Kurukshetra was there? They, uh, the Kurus, they took away the whole kingdom of the Pandavas, but they are chhatriyas, how they will live. Therefore, uh, the fight was necessary. The Kshatriyas must be, um, must have some land to collect taxes. That is the Kshatriyas' um, uh, source of income. The Brahmin source of income, Pathan, Pathan, Jajan, Jajan. They must be learned as scholar. They must teach others. They must be devotee and teach others how to become devotee. They must take contribution and must spend for Krishna. This is Brahmin. Uh, no service. Uh, born my leave, uh, no Brahmin. Sanatam Goswami, Rupa Goswami, uh, they, uh, they were born in high class Brahmin family, Sarasat Brahmin. But because they accepted the service of Nawab Hussain Shah, immediately they were rejected from Brahmin society. It is by the grace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that they again became Goswamis. Otherwise they were rejected. No Brahmin could take uh, service, and especially service of a low-class man. That is, in Bhagavata we will see, Especially that if a Brahmin is in difficulty, he may accept the profession of a Kshatriya uh, or at most of a Vaishya, but never take the profession of a Shudra. What is the profession of Shudra? Shudra is Parichadhyatma Kankarjam Shudra Karma Sabhavajam. One who is hankering after service. He is Shudra. He has no capacity to live mm. independently. Mm. The Brahmin, real Brahmin, he will starve. He will die out of starvation. He will never accept anyone's service. That is Brahmin. Unchavritti. If he has no income, he will go on the field and when the grains are taken away, uh, some grains fall down. They will pick up all those grains and leave on that. Still will not go to anyone that I am hungry, give me something. No. Unchavit. So, uh, our education and why we are so independent? Because the education was very high. Vedic education, uh, satisfied with Brahma realization, Brahma Bhuta Prasanna Atma. Uh, not very long ago, say about uh, 300 years ago, there was a Brahmin, uh, very rigid Brahmin, 
Krishnanagar, near our Mahapur. And Brahmin's business, he was teaching. Uh, so the um, king of that place, I mean, mean big Jaminda, Raja Krishna Chandra, hi, by his name, that place he says Krishnanagar. So he heard about the Brahmin, very learned Brahmin, but very poor. So he one day came to him and asked him, uh, Brahmin, can I help you anyway? So he said, no, I don't require any help from you. So I see you are so a poverty stricken, you have no sufficient means. No, I am not poverty stricken. Uh, uh, my students, they uh, get some arms of rice. So my wife boils the rice, and here is a tower in tree. So I take some leaves and boil it on the subsection. Why am I probably speaking? He said, it's fine. Whatever is uh, coming automatically, that's all. Uh, he doesn't require any higher standard of life, any botheration. He is satisfied. Little rice and tamarind juice, that's all. So in each and every home, formally, this independence was very much valued. Uh, so at the modern education, this independence is being killed. People are becoming unemployed, machine. Uh, machine, high technologist means he must find out a job where technological machines are there. Otherwise he will starve and he will have to go from factory to factory. Will you give me some service? No vacancy. 